select, I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be before I form thee. Swaddling clothes were used in the practice of swaddling, wrapping an infant tightly in a cloth. The idea behind swaddling, swaddling is that it helps the baby's transition from the womb, the womb being a very snug place, to the outside world. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thy camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. The living waters is the spiritual man coming forth, being reborn through the living waters, going from the flesh man of blood to the spiritual man of the living waters, blood and water. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it's the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is truth. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thy art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me for trouble is near. This being that time of Jacob's trouble, uh, that being the resistance to the spiritual man coming forth. When Yahweh comes to this earth in the vessel he he, uh, that womb he chooses to be born from, that, that spiritual virgin that will bring him forth. That will be Emmanuel, God with us. And I'm going to read um, Matthew um, chapter 1, starting with verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Mary meaning the beloved and um, Joseph meaning the increaser, may he add, she being that uh, physical virgin. And then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, son being a builder of a family, and thy shall call his name Jesus. Uh, Jesus meaning Yeshua, Savior, for he shall save his people from their sins. Um, this being when Jesus will come, um, be born um, as a flesh man, the sixth day man, uh, walk upon us on this earth in the flesh. He will be uh, then crucified um, and then resurrected from the dead, uh, becoming the first begotten in the spirit uh, that um, resurrected from the dead, that, that defeated death. And now he sits on the right hand of God on the throne till he comes in in the spirit to make his enemies his footstool. And now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, behold, a virgin. Now this is a spiritual virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son that being a builder of the family and shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel, um, which being interpreted is a uh, God with us. And then I'm going to go over to Revelation 12, um, verse one. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun as in righteousness and the moon under her feet uh, that being the lesser light under her feet, as in that footstool, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Twelve um, meaning um, God's perfect governmental foundation in righteousness. And she being with a child, cried, traveling in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. When, she, when um, God's governmental foundation comes forth in righteousness, Satan will come to resist this government by setting up his government, uh, that being Babylon, um, Babel. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was called up unto God and to his throne, that being the two mothers. They're that, the, the one, the spiritual mother that will bring forth the man-child who is to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was called up unto God and to uh, his throne, that being um, 
Jesus um, when he um, resurrected and he sits on the right hand of God till he comes to make his enemies his footstool. And that is in Revelation 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven open, that being the spiritual realm opening up, uh, that boundary between heaven and earth will be lifted. And behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. He's coming um, to... Uh, to judge and um, make war with that rod of iron. And um, this being when he, um, this one that will come forth um, spiritually, this man child will be swaddled with clothes. These clothes are the, are the fine linen, clothes of the righteousness of the saints. Um, they will protect the throne. Wherever the spirit of Yahweh will be, his throne will be. And his throne is to be protected. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, that being that secret place. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That secret place being Azel, which is an unknown place, it is close to Jerusalem at the foot of the far side of Mount Olivet. This is to be the place of the final battle prophesied by the prophet Zechariah. Yahweh is to fight against the nations that are gathered against Jerusalem. Jerusalem being prophetically a condition of truth, and the Mount Olivet is a place of olive groves, the olive being the anointing oil, um, Christos, the anointed one. And while doing so, his feet will stand on Mount Olivet, which will split, which will resort in an enormous valley, which will re reach Azel, through which God's people can flee out of the besieged city clear through the valley. The Lord will shepherd his people towards himself. The Lord will stand upon Mount Olivet, which he will split so we can come uh, to him and nowhere else. Azel means to join, approximate, move towards a position as to approximate to God. Approximate as in immediately proceeding or following as in a chain of events. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. A manger being a feeding trough for domesticated animals. Domesticated animals are dependent on man to feed them. And that babe is what we are to spiritually feed on. The domesticated, the living creatures, um, um, is a babe that, babe that will be lying in the manger is our feed that will be um, the meat, not the milk. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, light from darkness. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. Hitherto you are not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. Uh, at that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thy has hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them unto babes, revealed unto babes, revealed as to um, uncovered truths. And Jesus says unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus says unto them, You have heard or uh, read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thy has perfected praise. Um, a babe lying in a manger, manger being that feeding trough for domesticated animals. That babe is lying in that manger to show us what we are to feed upon. Um, that babe that, ha um, that has been revealed, um, the hidden things. Uh, the woman at the well tells Jesus when Christ cometh, he will reveal all things. Nothing will be hidden as in darkness, obscurity as in the state of being unknown and hidden. If you seek after um, that babe, as was the shepherds, uh, shepherds who kept watch over their flock, as in the domesticated animals by night. And then I'm going to go over to Luke um, 2, starting with verse 8. And there in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Uh, that same country being Judea, prophetically, um, 
Judah being those that will be one in Christ Jesus. For you, brethren, have become the followers of the churches of God, which are in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. Unto the city of David, David meaning the beloved, um, Bethlehem being the house of bread, um, that being what was written by the prophet, and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judea art not he least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall uh, come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. This being when he comes as Emmanuel, God with us to rule, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Um, night being the time of um, the visitation and also a time of adversity. Um, that is when you will be visited. You will hear, you will be sleeping and you will be woken up by the sound of like church bells. They will ring twice as a double witness. The bells were on the bottom of the high priest's robe. This is your high priest coming, um, Melchizedek coming to visit you. You will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him. This will be the quickening, making you spiritually alive where you'll be able to spiritually see and spiritually hear. When you see this vision of this man sleeping with breath being blown on him, this will let you know that you have been anointed in the Levitical priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek. It will be Jesus Christ himself who will anoint his priesthood of the end days, he being that cardio knower. Um, those that come um, to resist come in the night, as in, th as in thieves and robbers. Uh, they being the the um, robbers, thieves and robbers of your soul. And then um, nine, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. The angel of the Lord is our shepherd, that one shepherd that will go before us, round as in Galilee, uh, meaning circle as in a circle of time or age. Also to express joy as in dancing. This prophetically will be when Yahweh will enter into the vessel he chooses to speak through, that will bring those uh, good tidings, that being of the Spirit, as when we are of the first day. And I'm going to go over uh, to Genesis. Uh, hold your place there. I'm going to go over to Genesis 1 and start reading um, from verse 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, heaven as in heavenly celestial bodies and earthly. Uh, and the earth was without form, as, um, as in worthless thing, desert, desolate, and void as in vacuity, as in a lack of thought, empty-headedness, and darkness as in um, m m misery, wickedness, obscurity, as in the state of being unknown and hidden. And... It was upon the face of the deep as the abyss, the surging um, mass of waters. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light as in spiritual illumination, spiritual intellect, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, that being the good things, good tidings. And um, in the darkness he called night. I mean, um, and God divided the light from the darkness and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning uh, were the, the first uh, day. Mishnah, which is a group of documents um, that recorded oral traditions that govern the Jewish people during the time of the Pharisees, one of its regulations states that it expressly forbids the keeping of flocks throughout the land of Israel, except in the wilderness. And the only flocks kept would be those for the temple services, this being um, prophetically the set-aside ones, the anointed ones. These shepherds uh, were in the fields surrounding Bethlehem, not out in the wilderness where regular sheep were kept. They were the priests that were performing shepherd duties for the temple because the sheep um, were intended to be sacrificed for the Passover. It was the priest's job to make sure the lambs were without blemish, um, being um, that being the sacrificial lambs. A spot or a sheep is one that marks them, um, the mark of an individuality or character, that being prophetically being our high priest Melchizedek that, will, that knows your heart, he being that cardio knower. Um, he knows that... He knows that those that cry and sigh for all the abominations that, that uh, are done in the midst thereof. 
the mark um, by the man clothed in um, linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of them that of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Also in Mishnah, it says that the Messiah would be revealed from Migdal Eder, which means Tower of the Flock which was an actual tower that stood just outside of the town and within the temple um and within the temple priests um it which which was within the temple priest fields a lookout tower it was the priest's job to stay in migdal eater all night so with the tower being so tall the shepherd priest was watching over the flock by night while the shepherds were on the ground also keeping watch and thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold, the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first uh, dominion. Um, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem, daughter being the spiritual side, that bride side. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and it is safe. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves as in a domesticated animal of the stall. And then verse 9, And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. The Lord shone um, round about them. Round as in being um, the meaning of Galilee. Uh, round also um, means um, celestial. Jesus told the disciples, his shepherds, that, that they are not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which says it, um, that he, which says he, you have heard of me, this being that verbal announcement, that Mishnah, oral traditions. And we're going to read, I'm going to come back there, but I'm going to go over it and read Acts uh, 1, 7 through 11. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but you shall receive power, and after that the Holy Ghost is upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight, a cloud being uh, his glory, and they received him out of their sight. They were not able to physically look upon him because he is in, a, in, the, in the spiritual realm, another dimension. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Two conveys the meaning of a union, a man and woman, though two in number, are made one in marriage, the union between Christ and his church, a verification of facts between two witnesses, which also said, you men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven. He will come um, as, as in a spirit as he went up that you were not able to look upon him and then verse 10 of um, luke 2 and the angel said unto them fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people this is christ the lord christ as in christos the anointed one the lord yahweh matthew 1 verse 20 the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thy shall call his name Jesus, meaning Yeshua Savior, and he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus will come to the earth, sacrifices himself on the cross, that sacrificial lamb, resurrecting from the dead, from his fleshly prison, defeating death, when you are in the flesh, you sin. The spiritual man will be set free from the law because the law will be written now in their hearts. This Savior is Christ, the anointed one, that's, that spiritual virgin anointed to be the high priest, that high tower that will be raised above the brethren. This will be that one um, that will make sure the sheep are without blemish. 
and to make uh, sure the other sheep from another fold have not wandered into the field. He being that sheep spotter, which would count the sheep as they went in. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood uh, saying, rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship um, therein. And then verse 11, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Uh, that being the swaddling clothes, that being the, sh uh, the shepherds of the flock that will protect the throne. When they recognize I am within the vessel, they will guard and protect the babe, that man child lying in a manger. Manger being where domesticated animals feed from. They being the sheep without the blemish, the blemish that are protected by that one that is um, their mig migdar, migdal eater, their strong tower that babe that will um, make sure the sheep will be spiritually purified for the indwelling of Yahweh, removing of that flesh, which is filthy, which is a filthy, unacceptable sacrifice. That will be um, that perfect sacri sacrifice, that spiritual virgin that will sacrifice her fleshly bodies first for the indwelling of Emmanuel, God with us, and leading the, um, the elect to do the same. The swaddling clothes were used by the shepherd priests also to keep the lambs clean and free of blemishes as the lambs were prepared for the sacrifice. This baby is wrapped in priestly clothes. And we're going to read in Zechariah, we'll come back there, but I'm going to go to Zechariah 3 and read of our high priest Melchizedek in the transferring of power from our heavenly priest to our earthly priest. And we'll read of that in Zechariah 3. And he showed me Joshua, Joshua meaning Yeshua, Savior, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. He is going to resist um, Yahweh um, from coming unto this earth. And the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? And now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before um, the angel um, that be in those swaddling cloths um, that the priests use um, to keep the lambs clean and free of blemishes as the lambs were prepared for the sacrifice. And he answered and spoke unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with a change of raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head, and they clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by, and the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus say the Lord of hosts, If thy will walk in my ways, and if I will keep my charge, then I shall judge my house and shall also keep my courts. And I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. And hear now, O Joshua, the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, um, the branch. And then we're going to go back to Luke 2, um, verse thir um, 13. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God, uh, saying, and suddenly there was the angel, that being the angel of the Lord, that one that will go before us, guiding us, and a multitude of heavenly hosts, that being of the stars that will come forth, uh, shining forth from her crown, coming forth at the time appointed uh, to shine. And also... Um, the heavenly host that will come with him when he comes in on that white horse and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean they will join together that mighty army of spirit um, of the stars and then 14 glory to god in the highest and on earth peace goodwill uh, toward men in the uh, in the highest that being that strong tower that is raised above goodwill that being that light that shineth in the night extinguishing the darkness 
And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. Uh, come to pass, that being prophetically, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, that being when his spirit will be withdrawn from this earth, it will only be in those that have taken of the marriage. The shepherds being of the many-membered body of spirit-filled people, Bethlehem being the house of bread, and seeing this thing, the good tidings from the angel, and they are coming to see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us, that being the shepherds that, um, that are one to another, prophetically being God's elect, uh, his many-membered body, the high priest uh, um, handpicked and anointed by Jesus Christ himself. Self. Um, that the thing that has been, it is that which shall be and that which is done. It is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun. To everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. The Alpha and the Omega, that being I am. I am the Alpha and the, and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, says the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. It is the Lord who will make himself known, opening our spiritual eyes to see the thing. Uh, 16, and they came with haste and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Mary meaning the beloved and Joseph being of the house of David, David meaning the beloved. Joseph me, um, being the increaser and the babe lying in the manger, that being that sign. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And when they had seen it, that being that sign concerning this child, not the babe, but now the child, and that child is that man child, Emmanuel, God with us, our high priest Melchizedek, they had made known abroad. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. Heard it, wondered at those things. Hear now, O Joshua, the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. And the woman at the well tells Jesus, she being that first one that recognizes I am in the spirit and and took I am to be her husband, her spiritual husband. I know that the Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Uh, 19, but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. But Mary, meaning the beloved, kept all these things as to dispute mentally, ponder upon, digest upon, take it into her spirit. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. A shepherd uh, returned. They were um, gone away into heaven in verse 20. And in verse 15, they went into Bethlehem, being the house of bread, as to eat food as what the domesticated animals ate from the manger, the sheep that are being fed by their high priests that the Lord, as in Yahweh, has made known to us. Now they heard and now seen as it was told to them. They are now able to look upon as to discern uh, spiritually who he is, that babe that is lying in a manger. The Lord thy God will raise up as in that high tower, Migdal, um, eater from the midst of thee of thy brethren like unto me unto him you shall hearken as to hear uh, intelligently be obedient to then they that feared the lord spoke often come to another and the lord hearkened and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared as to revere the lord and that thought upon his name but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings we have also a more sure word of prophecy wherein you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, as in that night sky, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Arise in your hearts, as did Mary that kept all these things in her heart. And then I'm going to go over and read Matthew 2, um, verse 1. 
And now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, Herod being that one set up by the Roman government that they called king of the Jews, he was set up as a governor of Galilee. He was, um, the, he was a descendant of Esau. Esau says to Jacob, because Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. That being his fleshly father, Jacob, the heel grabber, that six day man, the sixth dimension of time of the flesh man will come to an end. The seventh day man is to come forth. This being the seventh dimension of time of the spirit. When this happens, Satan will come to resist this union um, at, as of the seeds, seed line of the stars um, to, come, to shine forth in his glory. Uh, and we're going to read of that. Uh, resistance and revelation i'll hold your place i'll come back there but we're going to read of that resistance in revelation 6 starting with verse 1 and it came to pass that being prophetically when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them daughters being the spiritual side of man coming forth that the sons of god these being the angelic beings saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose they came in to mingle that seed line and with their perverse spirit. And the Lord said, My spirit is in his holy spirit shall not always strive with man, for he also is flesh, as um, because he chose flesh over the spirit. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. A hundred and twenty means a divinely appointed time of waiting when God will save um, 12,000 from each tribe of Israel, um, that being the 144,000. And then in Revelation 12, verses 7 through 9, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought with his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out onto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Uh, behold, um, there come wise men from the east, um, that being the wise men coming forth in the spirit, uh, the priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek, east being of the tribe of Judah that camped on the east side of the camp, also being the rising of the sun, sun as in righteousness, um, Jerusalem prophetically being a condition of truth. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Uh, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and are come to worship him. For we have seen his star, see as to spiritually see, his star, that being the morning star in the east, um, the rising of the sun, um, and are come to worship him, that being the spirit of Yahweh, this being Judah, rising up from his sleeping slumber. And unto you that fear as to revere my name, that name being Yahweh, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. The resistor's time is over. They are now recognizing him, that being that uh, one with that rod of iron. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Um, these things, um, that being that season, that time appointed when that six day man of the flesh will be finished, Satan has power over the flesh man, not the spiritual man. Um, the seed line of the stars will possess the gate of their enemies. Uh, he, that one that claims he is, he was troubled. He being that one that claims he is the king of the Jews and, and, um, and then those that were, um, of Jerusalem with him that being the resistors of truth. Uh, four, and when he gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. For um, out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Joseph was a governor in Egypt, Egypt prophetically being of the perverse spirit. Uh, Egypt, I mean, um, Joseph was embalmed um, as to be preserved for a later time. For the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and has caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. That... 
um, they being the two governors. This governor shall rule my people Israel, meaning he will rule as God. He being that vessel um, that Yahweh will inhabit. Uh, seven. And when Herod, when he privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Uh, they, that young child, not the babe, but that child. And when you have found him, that being that spirit that will be within that child, uh, that being that man child, and when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Um, that star um, they saw in the east, the star of the morning, went before them, that being the angel of the Lord, angel being a spiritual messenger, uh, the Lord being the spirit of Yahweh, till it come, it being of the Holy Spirit, and John bare records saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him, that being that young child, that being that man child. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was called up unto God and to his throne. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. They saw as to perceive who that star is. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and they worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Um, that being the house of David, the beloved, they saw the young child with Mary, Mary meaning the beloved, his mother, that brought um, him forth, that spiritual virgin, and they um, prophetically, and they fell down referencing him uh, as a um, lord um, the gold solomon covered the inside of the temple with pure gold the place um, of god's presence recognizing him as that temple and the frankincense which was the perfume in the sanctuary symbol symbolic of holiness and righteousness they recognize in his name but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his ring wings that being the wings of the eagle. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place. That being that sacred place. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the, the Almighty. And then the, the pure myrrh of the holy anointing oil. One of the three principal spices being pure myrrh. Uh, they they are recognizing him as that anointed one, Christos. Uh, then 12, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. God's children will be protected because they will dwell in the secret place of the Most High, uh, and they shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The eagle symbolizing freedom, strength, and power. Their eagles are considered the kings of the sky, symbol of, of a country's leadership. The United States declared that the bald eagle as its national bird due to the eagle's long lifespan and majestic presence. In the song God instructed to Moses to teach to the Israelites, in that song he compares his care for his people to that of a mother eagle who spreads her wings to cover her young. And... Um, to keep them from danger, covering them from danger, and also demonstrating his powerful and unstoppable sovereign control over everything. But they that wait on the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. That is to be renewed spiritually, that being the healing that will be in his wings. They shall mount up as an up the celestial ladder with wings as an eagle. Um, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint, because they have taken on the spiritual man. The strongest of the flesh man will stumble and fall, but those that wait upon the Lord will have that strength uh, that this world cannot offer. Jesus tells them, you are from beneath. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. When you see an eagle in flight soaring on the invisible air currents, we can be reminded that the creator who supplies the eagle's strength will also strengthen those who call upon his name. And we're going to end this um, for today, elect. You have a great day until the morning.